if you're a newer dad out there, things are probably crazy, especially if you're in that newborn to six month phase. Shit has probably just hit the fan and you are running around with your head cut off. And I want to tell you that that's normal and that's okay. But once you find your head, you screw your head back on. I want you to take a deep breath and understand this that you need to kick things into high gear now for yourself, for your wife, for your kid, for your family as a whole. Because at the end of the day, no one is coming to save you. Not me, not your own parents, not your siblings, not your friends. If you want, well, I want you to look at your position right now in your life, where you're at. If you're doing okay, great. But if you want better, no one's going to make that happen unless you make it happen. And that sounds redundant. And it's, it's something that I had heard my whole life, but it didn't sink in until about six to eight months ago where I was looking at my second daughter and I realized that if I wanted a better life for the family, I was going to have to work for it. And so I started looking at where am I wasting time? Where, what avenues have people who are wealthy been saying? that I am not yet doing. And one of the things that I started doing was looking for every little nook and cranny for the amount of free time you have. Because I'm telling you, as a, if you don't have a kid yet, you may not understand. But when you do have a kid, and everyone who has had kids understands, the amount of free time you have goes to almost zero. So you need to maximize that small amount of free time. So areas to look for time. Number one, do you listen to music in the car? That's wasted time. Do you play video games? Also wasted time. And I'm I, I'm come telling you as a video game junkie, I used to play video games 16 to 18 hours a day straight and then go to sleep and wake up and keep playing. That's also probably why I need to get surgery on my eyes. Like I was really, really addicted to video games. And third is, do you binge watch shows? Do you watch shows to relax? The only time I watch TV shows or movies is with Christine. That's it. To spend time with my wife. If I'm not doing it for that, Generally, I'm not watching a show. All of my time at home is spent trying to maximize and pull my family ahead, hand by hand, claw by claw, climbing up that mountain, trying to get successful. And so something you can do in the car, which I think is the biggest time where people overlook, is you can listen to an audiobook, which I used to do, especially I'm on my, when I'm on my own. But something I've been doing recently because I've been hanging out with guys who, are, who own their own businesses. We're very well off, and I heard it. For, I heard this from one of them. He's like, "Oh, you need to visualize your goals and think about your goals constantly, and live in the future." And I was like, "That sounds freaking weird, dude." I didn't say it to his face. Obviously, I'm, I'm respectful, but I was like, "That's weird." Then I got around another guy, very wealthy. Same thing. I spend my time. I spend a lot of time visualizing my future self, my goals, blah 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 blah. That's kind of weird. And then I met this third guy, and. He said the same thing that like, oh yeah, all of the stuff I have now I visualize. I think that's like my secret hack for life is I just visualize things and they just start happening. After the third dude, I was like, this is, uh, this is, everyone has this, is doing the same thing. It's like in Taekwondo, if you talk to all the best fighters and like, oh yeah, I left weights. Oh yeah, I left weights. Oh yeah, I left weights. But to you, you're like, I don't know, weights seem like they just throw off your game a little bit. After a while, if enough people who are wealthy or in this case, good at Taekwondo are like, oh yeah, I left weights. Sooner or later, if you want to get good at Taekwondo, just go lift weights. That's what it seems like everyone else is doing. So what I do in the car is I used to listen to audiobooks. And if I have another audiobook to listen to, I will do that. But as of the moment, uh, I'm spending my time in the car thinking about my future self, future state, and how I can improve whatever system or what are the next steps for what's going on now. So as a, I'm, I'm saying this one more time, as a father, as a new father, I understand if stuff is crazy right now and that's okay you're trying to get in the routine of things get the hang of things make sure you're not waking up five times a night etc for that those little tips you got to talk to your wife every family dynamic is different personally my wife and i my wife i'm the one who works my wife stays home with the kids so she's the one who wakes up at night to take care of the little one and that's our dynamic but your family dynamic might be different uh, so you got to sort that out but it is whatever your dynamic is don't forget that it's still your job. It is still your job as the guy of the household to improve the family lifestyle, to improve the income, to improve the state of the family, especially if you guys want more. And if you're perfectly content, keep doing you. You know, this is, I'm just saying this as a shout out and a PSA and a reminder to the other dads that sometimes we can get complacent, we can get caught up in the 
oh, I could improve my life, but I'm stuck over here um, spending time with uh, the little one while she's napping. She's napping, dude. Get up and go do something. Anyway, I just felt called to share this with you guys today. That's the video for today, and I will see you all tomorrow.